Welcome. We're going to do two things in this tutorial. Uh, first, we're going to show you how to enter into a pedestrian uh, viewing mode, which allows you to basically uh, travel through your model as if you were a pedestrian on the ground, uh, more like in a, in a first person type of uh, video game environment instead of flying around on all three axes at once with a 3D mouse. And the second is we're actually going to add a 3D pedestrian model that will then travel a flight path through um, this parking lot right here on the ground. So step one of these two is really easy. To enter pedestrian mode you simply click this icon right here and you'll notice that my camera is instantly uh, dragged down to the ground and now in order to navigate through the scene I'm just going to click the uh, hold the arrow keys while I click and hold uh, the, uh, the left mouse button and then I can travel through as if I'm in a, in a, in a first person sort of uh, virtual environment. Uh, if I want to exit out of this pedestrian view I simply click this uh, cursor icon right here and then I can travel around again using the 3D mouse or with the uh, default uh, mouse controls right here. So that takes care of that. What we're going to do now is add a pedestrian model to our scene and he's going to travel through uh, this parking lot right here. So the way we do that, I created another tutorial that showed you how to create flight paths using the edit tool right here and to record a flight path in 3D space. But what we're going to do this time is create a flight path through the plan view uh, so we can fine tune it a little bit more accurately on the first shot. So entering plan view again, we get an overview of our site here. And this site is really small, so I'm going to zoom in. And you can see this V here is where my camera is in 3D space. Um, and now I'm going to zoom in. You can also pan and zoom in the plan view with a 3D mouse if you have one as well. So I'm going to zoom into my parking lot here and I'm going to create a quick flight path that just is going to make a little uh, ring around this parking lot right here. So flight path you know is different from the other uh, the other editing tools here because it's just marked with a extra plane icon here that just lets you know it's a flight path uh, instead of a road that you're that you're drawing here. So my first path I'm going to put right where my camera is in 3D space. Uh, make just a couple points here to loop around. And that's good for now. So once I finish my flight path, I'm going to need to edit it in 3D space too, because uh, UC Windroad will by default create the flight path to be um, arbitrarily above the ground, uh, some 50, 50, 60 meters or so, which I don't want because then my uh, pedestrian will be walking in midair. So I'm going to go edit, edit 3D flight path 4. And uh, your flight path is given a number based on the number of flight paths you already have in the scene. Uh, so this is my fourth one, so it was named 4 by default. Uh, when I edit it in the curve editor, I can change the name here. I'm going to change it to uh, parking lot pedestrian so I don't get confused later on. And you can see that this is my ground right here and my flight path is way up in the air about 60, 62 meters in the air. So I obviously don't want that, so I'm going to uh, click the button here that says on ground and my flight path is locked to the terrain. If I zoom into it here you can see it's nice and even with all points of my terrain here. So what I'm going to do now is click OK and exit back into 3D space. You want to make sure that when you're done editing in the plan view, if you like the changes you've made, make sure you hit OK and not cancel. If I hit cancel, um, my my flight path and all of the edits I just made to it will be undone and there's no way to get them back. So make sure you hit OK. And once I'm back into 3D space, I can add a pedestrian to that flight path. So now I'm going to hit the icon here that says load MD3 characters. And this is going to open up the MD3 character list editor. And right now you can see it's empty. Um, so I need to load a character that I can then add to my flight path. So I'm going to hit load and this takes you automatically to the characters folder. Um, you can add characters to this folder by downloading them from the online database and they'll automatically be put in the right spot here. Uh, or you can create your own animations and bring them in too. Um, for now we're going to go with uh, the businessman model here. Once I open it up, I can see the animation. I can change skins if I have them and, uh, and change the movements that I want as well. But for now, I'm going to keep this all at default. And I, I like the speed he's walking at too, so I'm going to keep that for now as well. Hit OK. 
And now I can see that I have a character in my list here that I can add to a flight path. So I'm going to hit the button here, add walker, which will let me add this walker to a flight path. So uh, the path I want is parking lot pedestrian. And I'm going to keep this all default because I like the speed and I want him to start at the beginning of the flight path here. So I'm going to hit OK and close. Now when I start a traffic simulation, my pedestrian is going to start with the traffic. So you can see that he's walking on the ground while traffic is going. And I can add as many pedestrian models as I want. Um, and as soon as you hit start traffic simulation, you'll see all of your characters walking around in 3D space.